Matan. I'm very pleased to be with you this evening. It is always a great pleasure to be with you. I greet you, my friends, in the love and the light of our infinite creator. I and my brother Laetos are here. We will condition you as I speak to you. It is very important, my friends, to spend time in meditation. Very important. We of the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator are with you, my friends, and you are with us in a single effort. Our effort, as I have said before, is to awaken the people of this planet to truth. This has been tried many, many times. They are sleeping very, very soundly. Yes, my friends, they are asleep, dreaming a dream that is fantastic. It is beyond the belief of those who know truth that such a dream could be a dream, but this is the case. Many of your people have dormant within them the memory of truth. Many others have a less accurate memory, and a few have no memory at all. The truth, however, is within them, for it is within all men in all places. For those of the first category, it is relatively easy to awaken them from their slumber. The second category is much more difficult, and the third, for the present, will be impossible for you to awaken. Do not concern yourself if an individual rejects an attempt you might make to awaken him. This simply means he or she is not yet ready for this truth to be given unto them. Concern yourself with those who would seek the truth and make it available to them in any way that you can. There are many people upon your planet at this time who are attempting to cloud the memory of this truth. They are not aware of what they are doing. This is not their fault. But it is, unfortunately, the condition. It is not a simple task that we have outlined, and I am afraid it will require a great deal of effort. We have not been as successful as we had hoped to be when we initiated this project some years ago. The people of your planet do not actually wish to be awakened for the most part. Those who are sleeping very, very lightly are all too few. However, you will know them as you find them, and you will recognize their lightness of slumber by their activities, for they will not be as enmeshed in the insanity, if we can call it that, that is so prevalent on your world today. These people are already seeking. In this case, it will be but a simple matter for you to convey to them that which they need. It is, however, very important that you be able to give them what they need. For this reason, we suggest that you continue to meditate. For only in this way can you be prepared to serve them. I speak not only from the preparation to act as does this instrument as a vocal channel, but also as a preparation of your own thinking, so that you will know the truth with no doubt or hesitation in speaking it. It is within you, my friends, and we will reawaken it within you, for your slumber is but very, very light. It is only necessary that you avail yourself to us through meditation. There are many wondrous things that we would freely give to you if you would simply avail yourself to us. Those gifts are freely given. It is not only our pleasure and our privilege to do this, but our duty 
as it is your duty to pass them on to others, for this is the plan of the creation. The creation is a single entity. Each part of it is designed to aid and help all other parts. This is the original plan. It is a very simple thing for you to understand if you will relax and look at the original true creation and forget that which was created by your fellow man upon the surface of your planet that you now enjoy. And think of the plan and the working of the creator's original creation. It is quite obvious that each part was designed to aid and benefit each other part. Due to the action of free will that the Creator gave to his parts, there have been some errors, mm, shall I say, um, made by some of the parts, and they have strayed from the original plan, confusing themselves and confounding the workings of this plan, it is only necessary to realize the truth of this plan to know its workings. It is only necessary that you meditate to have so all cool. these things given to you or reawakened within you. For all of this knowledge was originally given to all of the parts of this creation. It dwells within every living thing, and everything in this creation lives. We of the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator are living as closely to the plan as we possibly can. We do this because we know it to be the only logical and rational way of living. To divorce yourself from the plan is only to confound the true workings of nature. Your people at present are totally unaware of such a plan. Your scientists ignore it. They are extremely interested in plans of their own. Unfortunately, their plans do not follow the plan of the Creator. Therefore, they waste much of their time and energy. They build devices that have no real valuable purpose. They are transient, I can assure you. Your scientists should realize that there is a purpose to the creation that far surpasses what they suspect. They should avail themselves to the purpose in meditation. Then they would find that they would begin to understand the plan and thereby they would be able to use their knowledge to build within the plan, not as they do now with no heed at all to the truth and with plans of their own which have no relationship to truth. Your government makes the same error. They do not work within the plan. They are not aware of the plan. They attempt to make law, but their laws do not work. They appear to have some value, but very shortly much strife is generated and the result is war. They do not understand that the reason for this strife is that they have ignored the natural plan of creation, the natural order of things, and the law of the Creator that devised this. Your leaders should avail themselves in meditation to truth, as we do. You are aware that at this particular time it is impossible for your scientists and your leaders to do such a thing, for they are in the very depths of slumber and cannot at this time be awakened for the most part. There are only a few, many, many, so cool. too few who are very lightly slumbering. It will be necessary, therefore, to concern yourself with those whom you contact in any and all walks of life, the ones who are lightly slumbering, the ones who will seek on their own after they have been 
being aware of the possibility of seeking. It is our plan to alert as many of these people as possible so that when it becomes obvious to your leaders and to your scientists that we are real and we are what they suspect that we might be, there will be a sufficient number of awakened entities on your planet for some form of communication to take place between those who are already awake and those who are lightly slumbering in the future. For, as time passes, those who are in the depths of slumber now will begin to awake. Those who you cannot contact at all now will begin to awake. It will be a self-generating process so that large numbers of your people will be given the truth it is a very, very big task. It will be up to you and those like you to help us in carrying this out. We have said before that we would very much like to land upon your surface and contact your people directly, but we have explained that this is not at all feasible. I am aware of many planets such as this one that have gone through a cycle of awakening. Many planets made this transition with considerable ease because they were following the plan. Unfortunately, this planet has lagged in the natural scheme of things. This is what you might refer to as a borderline case. There will be those of your people who make the graduation and those who don't. This is not always the case with all planets. In some instances, the individuals are ready for the graduation that you now approach. In some unfortunate instances, none are ready. In your particular place, it is a combination of both instances. Therefore, do not be dismayed if your ideas are totally rejected by some, for this is to be expected, and this is the major reason that we cannot come among you, for it would be a direct violation of one of the laws of which I spoke earlier. Due to their conditions, it is necessary for those of you who would help us, who are on the surface of your planet, to help us. We request that you meditate. This is all that is necessary. This is all the help that we need because if you meditate, then you will know what to do. And this is all the help that we need or all the help that we would desire for this is also part of the plan. It has been a privilege to be with you this evening. I am Hatan. I will leave you in the love and the light of our Creator. Be in peace, my brothers and sisters. Adone. Adone Vasu.